Hey, it's Kira. And hey, it's Tommy. And welcome to our manga unboxing. As you can see, we have some large packages. Yeah, we have some large packages and a lot of packages. I think there's about 10 boxes here. So uh, we have a lot to get through. Um, we can't really remember what exactly is in these packages because this is over the last probably two months or so that we've been ordering these um, manga. But um, I can name two things in here and I know that they're both pretty exciting for us to um, be able to pick up. But a lot of this stuff, I have no idea what it is. Yeah, so it should be fun and a little bit of a surprise for the both of us. Yeah, so hopefully I can be surprised with us. And um, I know one of these packages we've been waiting for, for I would say probably a year. So we're very, very excited. All right. With that, with that said, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. So I think we should start small because these are probably maybe the least exciting things, but I'm not too sure. Okay, so at the same time? Yeah, let's go at the same time. Right, One, good. two, three. three. Okay. I couldn't find my dotted line. <laughs> I'm surprised I was actually able to rip that because I am terrible at opening these Amazon packages. Yeah, I'm not too bad. All right, so let's... Oh, I think you got my, I think you got my manga, but okay. Oh, well, they're both her manga. So this one is Mason Ikoku, volume nine. And here is, oh, I'm sorry. Cherry Magic, 30 Years of Virginity Can Make You a Wizard, Volume 4. I've been so excited for this volume and I ordered it and Tommy was like, oh, we're doing an unboxing so you can't open your packages. And I was like, no, because I was waiting for this volume um, to get from Amazon because I can't wait to read this one. And then volume nine, I was missing this one. We're working on picking this up. So we have all the volumes ordered, I think. Um, this one just happened to be on uh, Amazon Prime. So. Yeah, so. <laughs> Trash. <Right>. Oh. <laughs> All right. My bad. Okay. So next, uh, I'm going to leave this right stuff box for later. Um, How about this? this? Oh, oh. Let's do this big one. Okay. Or no, we can do yours. Let's do yours. Um, this one has me, I think it's this one. I'm not sure. One of them has me a little worried because it looks like it's getting crushed. This one was from Falter. Oh, really? Perfect. So this is from our friend Falter or Noku Kun, um, you know, on YouTube. And Tommy bought some manga from him, but I do not remember what it was. Uh, I remember what it was. If I didn't know it was from Noku Kun, then I would have, uh, then I wouldn't have known what it was. If that makes sense. All right. So let's bust it. Over. Oh, okay. All right. So I've heard this one is a really great series. Let me get a little closer. Just off recommendation. Um. Oh, and then we got one in front. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and get a little closer. So as you can see, we have Kare Kano. Um, I know these volumes are a little uh, discolored. I think that's just how they are usually. And then because he said we're we're boys, he sent me this Nirvana series, volumes one through four. So thank you to Noku Kun. Um, and I know it's been a while since I bought these from him. And like, he's probably like, yo, did he get these? Like, yeah, <laughs> we, we got them. We just didn't open them. Tommy's been wanting this series for a long time. Yeah, for sure. Um, I just thought it sounded interesting. Um, and these are in really good condition, if I have to say so myself. So thank you a lot. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much to Falter. Uh, we really appreciate it. And I know the Meet the Weed family really thinks this series is really good. So. Yeah, yeah, that's where I've heard a lot about the series at. But I always hear good things about it, but I ne it's never really interests me to the point of wanting to buy it. But Tommy has always been, I want to pick up Karikano, I want to pick up Karikano. And I'm like, eh. But we got a really good deal on this. And um, he, I remember he was really excited when he bought this. Yeah, so thank you so much, No Kukun, and definitely excited to have this for sure. Can't wait to read that. All right, so put these to the side. All right, back in the saddle. Um, I guess we'll go with this big box because um, it's a little exciting, but it's not that exciting, if that makes sense. This is one of the ones which I knew what it was. And um, as you can see, it has DHL packaging. Usually if you buy something from DHL, it's coming from overseas. Um, that's because I'm a little, what's that word? Dumb, maybe, because this was in stock for months. And I decided to want to get this as soon as it started getting a little closer to the out of stock side of things. And it became a lot harder to find. So I think I got this from, it might have been Forbidden Planet or Blackwells. Yeah, I think it was Blackwells actually from the UK, but they had free shipping. So I said, 
I might as well. well. Might as well, right? We don't have to pay for the shipping. All right, so first up, we got some paper. You know we love bad paper. Oh my God. <laughs> A lot of paper. Cheers. She was making it rain with this paper. I can't even lie. <laughs> that was crazy. Alrighty. Bam. And as you can see, we got the blue box set. You want to show that off? Yeah. Let's open it up too. All right. Yeah, we can do that. Bleach box set volume one, which I believe has volumes, volume. I said volumes, volumes twice. Volumes one through twenty-one. Um. I actually read this recently before we got this box set and that's actually what made me want to pick it up. Bleach is definitely worth my consideration now. I definitely want to check out the rest. I can't wait for Tommy to get to the second box set. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll, I'll actually read it when we get the second box set. But I feel like that'll be better, keep me better paced if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Reading it chapter by chapter is a little tough. But volume to volume might be a lot easier. Alrighty, here we go. Bleach volumes 1 through 21. Ooh, that's pretty. I love the art. It looks so good. No, for real. Um, Yeah, so our first of the big three box sets. Bleach volume, I mean bleach box set one. Definitely one of our goals to collect. If you haven't been watching our channel, it's definitely one of our goals to collect all of the big three. And so this is the first step. <laughs> this is the first step. Because somehow we have all this manga and we don't have the big three. <laughs> we had parts of it, but we figured the box sets were the way to go to collect it. All right, so next up, you or me? Um, uh, you go, you yeah. have three boxes left. Um, this, is, this was the box, actually. Oh, that you were looking for? Yeah, that I'm worried about. Hey, you wanna take my box? Oh, okay. Hold that. that was my box. <laughs> all right, so I'll do this media mail, smaller one. Don't mind me. Just doing some surgery on a box. <laughs> oh, got a thank you note. Thank you note. Oh yeah, this one was one I actually bought off Mama Swap for the cheaps. Um, let's see if I can get this open. is Akira Toriyama's Manga Theater. Um, the thing that was keeping me off of this one for a little bit was the retail. It's $35 retail, if you can see, eh, maybe not. But it's $35 retail for this volume. And honestly, it's not horrible, but I was just like, ah, I didn't really feel like paying for it. But I got this for $15 shipped. So I'm like, I couldn't beat that. Definitely so. worth it, definitely worth it. Definitely glad to have that. All right, Kier's turn. My turn. So let me open this box that Tommy has been so concerned about. Hey, look, it looks beat, and that's just from a box is being on it. I'm scared. So this one was also medium mail, so that means that we bought it from somebody. Excuse me, box. I don't know what this is going to be. If y'all can see just the amount of paper in this room right now, it's crazy. We definitely gotta do a, um, like show this at the end of the video. Definitely some damage. There's definitely some damage done here. Okay, what do we got here? <gasps> what do we have here? I didn't know you bought this! Let me get out the beginning volumes. I have been wanting this series forever. Oh my gosh, I love this series so much. Even though this is a kind of a controversial take because I feel like a lot of people like have problems with this series. See, as I said at the beginning of the series, we have a few surprises in there. So that was one of them. Oh my goodness. So that would be Made in Abyss. Oh my gosh, I love this series so much. Let me take it out of the thing so I can look at it. Maybe. Oh, this might this might take too long. But okay, let's skip to this. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Okay, but here is what seven and nine. I actually forgot that volume nine had came out. And 
here is volume 8. I was about to say, let me look at the cover before I show it, but... Um, I really, really like this series, and I think it is so good. The art is awesome. Um, I haven't watched the anime or anything for it. Yeah, I don't know anything about this series. But I read this a while ago, and I thought it was so good. But then I got on, like, um, when we, when we first got on manga YouTube, a lot of people had bad things to say about this series, I guess, because there's certain things that can be, I guess, could be bad about it. I mean, I don't really know. But, um, I don't know if this is, like, a controversial series as far as, like, if you like it or not. But, um, I absolutely love this series, and I did not know that Tommy bought this. He might have told me, but I did not remember no, whatsoever. I didn't, I didn't tell her. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited right now. Y'all just can't not understand. But this series is so freaking good. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Next, next up. <laughs> yeah. I was actually I'm shocked right now. I was actually hoping that... It was in that box and not this box because I didn't know what was in either because I want to trade boxes with Kira. I want her to oh, that one. So can I have the next? Okay, um, but before you open this one, I wanted to point out. So for people that don't send manga all the time, may not know this, but if you send manga through the USPS or the Postal Service, yeah. you can send your manga media mail. Because I always feel bad when someone sends us manga and they pay for priority shipping. Yeah, it's... So, as you can see, this priority shipping was $16. When you could have sent this box for probably 4 or $5. Yeah, that's how much the Made in Abyss box was. So, definitely, definitely, you have to go into the post office and you have to ask for media mail. But, um, you can definitely send books media mail. So, PSA for anybody that does not know that. And please do it. Um, there's no... There's no reason not to. You save a lot of money that way. Um, any box but these. Don't send them in this. Um, any old box. Uh, make sure it's packaged well. Ask for media mail. And bam. You got it. Yeah, Cheap. you can definitely Discount save a lot of money. So, yeah, I always feel so bad because I'm like, this person definitely could have saved like $10 at least by just sending the media mail. What people don't know. And um, so that's why we're here to tell you. <laughs> we will help you. All right. So there you go. <laughs> Alrighty. So into. Make sure that doesn't fall off into the $16 shipping box. I remember what this is, but I don't remember what it is at the same time. I have no idea. As you can <laughs> see, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The moment of truth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that did not work out nearly as well as we thought. I forgot you got this, or I didn't, I don't know if I knew you got this. You definitely knew I got this. I told Tommy I wanted this series because he was like, hey, someone's selling this. And I feel like this is always in people, like people that have been collecting for a long time, I feel like they always have this series. And I feel like it has to be because it's really good. You can see from the orange and the green, I almost said yellow. Let me see if I can get the other half up there with Kira. There we go. Oh my gosh. That's Teamwork. Cool. This is Cross Game, volumes one through eight. And yeah, I always, I just feel like this series is going to be really good. I love baseball series. Um, this is a chomp. A big boy. Oh, that's the first volume? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this was going to be the last volume with like how chonk it is. Oh, for comparison. I'm so bad at that. You're not holding it straight. I'll try it. <laughs> this is big. But, um, yeah, I've always been interested in this series. And it's something that I had never heard of before we were on YouTube. Really? I had never heard of this series. Maybe um, I just don't have the most knowledge as far as like older series go. But um, once I started watching like these YouTube videos of like manga collections and stuff, I kept seeing this series come up over and over and over again. Yeah, I already knew about this series because um, I had seen like an underrated series video and this was mentioned and they say, yeah, this is like a really good series and it's underrated and that people should check it out. So I figured Kira hadn't read it, I hadn't read it, why not grab it? Yeah, super, super excited for this. And I'm probably gonna read this this month because I'm really excited about it. So maybe y'all see this in a reading long. <laughs> maybe. We haven't done one of those in a long time, but um, I'm in the mood to do one, so. All right. All right, where's the knife That's my turn. Kira's turn. Oh, give me my give me my box. Oh, I was wondering where it was. It was hidden. It's hidden under all this paper. It was under the bubble wrap. So this one is from our good our good pal, the Manga Sloth. Yes, thank you, the Manga Sloth. I was laughing because he shipped this to Tommy Hedgehog, which was really funny. That's my last name if you didn't know. But um, 
No, I'm just I, yeah, I know this one is for me, so I'm very excited. Another package I have been dying to open. Yeah, this we've is had it for part two. We've had it for a little while. This is part two from the manga sloth. Um, yeah, she helped all... us out last month, right? Yeah. So maybe I didn't open it all. So thank you again to the manga sloth. Not the packing peanuts. Yes. <laughs> I oh, can't dump here. Look. Oh, let's go! What happened? It says, okay, I'll read the note. I'll read the note for y'all. As y'all know, or if you might not know, the manga slot always sends a bookmark with a manga that he sends out. So, and we have a lot of his bookmarks, so we all are getting a lot of manga from him. Found one of my OG bookmarks for you guys. Only 25 were made, so it's a collector's item. Keep in display or sell it and retire. <laughs> wow. So that is really cool. Got the the manga. Oh the manga my sloth. goodness, that is so cool. Check the manga sloth out if you have not. This is so cool. Excellent branding, by the way. <laughs> but thank you so much to the manga sloth, and here is what he helped me get. And let me open it for y'all. That was a little scary. You say, why would you do that of all things? I don't know. Kira didn't learn um Kira didn't learn from how I opened my Gantz volume 14. Oh yeah, Tommy sliced through his game. <laughs> Alright, and that is five volumes that I was missing of Inuyasha. Now I'm that much closer to finishing this series. And he helped us out with quite a few volumes of this last month. So um there was a few more volumes at the store he went to that um I didn't have, so he actually went back and got them for me. So thank you so so much to the manga sloth. And um yeah we really appreciate all the help that you have helped us out with over the last year yeah so, for sure definitely well, helped me with some gants as well so yeah definitely coming in clutch the coolest loft that we know by four all right and now we're down to one final box I'll oh yeah the no. knife. yeah i traded so this box is kind of heavy but one last box oh i thought she was holding it up and i was like <laughs> i'm getting ready to cut it <laughs> but you were not ready this one be? you know nope oh we actually have one more box after this i oh, lied yeah i lied <laughs> i forgot tommy hit one over oh my goodness grail series alert oh wait i said grail series was this on your wish list longer wish list alert uh-oh Alrighty. so as you can see we had prison school i'm just gonna hold up the first volume because i don't know what is on these um yeah i don't know how these um volume covers are looking um yeah we should be fine volume two um, volume two volume 12. oh i saw the two. two i guess i can't read two three four i was confused i was like what's wrong with volume two <laughs> volume two i was like i'm looking at volume two it's not in your hands so i actually read raw hero by akira hiromoto um who also wrote prison school and Oh, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was going to say, and didn't he write Me and the Devil Boots also that you also read? Right. No, but I was just saying, I just happened to finish Raw Hero. Oh, okay. And, um, yeah, that series is obviously a lot closer to probably this than Me and the Devil Boots, but, I mean, that is a, that is a sick series. Um, I don't, I don't really have much to say about that one. But, this is on my wish list, or this was on my wish list, and I'm definitely happy to have that scratched off. Um, this was a lot, not even harder to find, but, like, it was like out of stock for like a long time and so i just happened to find somebody selling this for a good price so i picked it up um i wanted these i kind of wanted these sealed but like at the same time it's like not that big we're gonna deal. read them anyway so it's really not that big of a deal yeah they were like in super good condition so i'm definitely glad for that i've always wanted these since i saw the spines i just think they look so cool on the show and of course i'm interested in the, the series too because i i heard this is like one of the funniest series ever yeah i'm definitely excited to read this but yeah, so one off of your wish list. Yes, for sure. So yeah, by the way, here are the spines. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, There's no way. Yeah, let's just, colors, lots and lots of colors. Really bright colors. I think bright colored spines are so cool, especially when they're all different colors. These are all super nice. So all right, I forgot that you bought that. And now we're on to the last 
box, the actual last box. On to the last. So, I know that a lot of people probably got right stuff shipments in from the past. Excuse me. In the last, I think, three weeks, two or three weeks. And they all contained at least the same thing. So, I'll let Kira do the honors. Oh, yeah, it is my turn. I get the box up so y'all can see. So, they contain this, the same seven gorgeous volumes. Yeah, you're probably gonna see quite a bit of, bunch of people get this this month or have already done unboxings of this. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, are they all you're gonna, you're gonna pull them up? Oh, yeah. Oh, these. Oh, this one actually needs some flip. One, two, and three, right here. And that is oh. Aria the Masterpiece. I wasn't ready. Aria the Masterpiece. Yep, and these beautiful gold editions. Two and three. And then we got a four. Ooh, I'm way worse than here at this. Five, which was, I think, the impossible one to find. Six. And seven. Now, this is a series I know Right Stuff loves for sure, but a lot of people actually hold the series in really high regard, um, and it was impossible to find over these past uh, couple of years, and Right Stuff did a last printing of this back in October, um, or they took orders for it back in October, and this just now shipped out, uh, I think, yeah, in May, and now everyone's getting their volumes. Yeah, super, super exciting. Um, like I said, this is a series that Bright Stuff really pushes. Um, I would say like for the anime, because I believe it has an anime, right? Yeah, they, they did pushed the, the anime. They did the dub for the anime. They like crowd or uh, kickstarted and then did the dub for it. And then, yeah, they, they announced that they were going to do um, pre-orders for another printing of this. And like they had to reach a certain number in order for them to do the printing. And they met the number like super quick, I would say. I wouldn't say it was super quick. It happened. They got to it though, for sure. Yeah, they definitely um, got to the number and they did the printing. And everyone has been waiting for these, waiting for these, waiting for these. And these are freaking gorgeous. They're Tokyo Pop oversized. Like you hardly ever see stuff like this. And I cannot wait to read this because, like I said, everyone freaking like everyone always hypes up the series. Like that is so good. Um, and we haven't read it. We haven't watched the anime. We haven't done anything for the series. So we're going to totally blind. Yeah, so definitely excited to uh, check this series out. Have it, hold it, love it. <laughs> <laughs> it is here to stay. Super, super excited. So I'll look forward to again to do a review on this or doing something about it for this, like in a reading log or something. Um, we'll be very, very excited to do that. So Whew, that was a big unboxing. That was a lot of packages. That was a lot of volumes that we got to try to figure out how we're going to put these up. <laughs> See, it was fun. It was fun opening the boxes. Now we got to clean them up, right? <laughs> now the hard part. But I'm definitely gonna have to put a clip in here so y'all can see what the room looks like right now because this is literally crazy. And um... yeah, I guess we'll <laughs> uh, we'll probably put that clip up right now. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If yeah. you're still here, if you made it this far, uh, we appreciate y'all sticking with us. Um, if you've read any of these series or have any thoughts on any of these series, please let us know in the comments um because we definitely pick up some stuff that we've never read before and we're really looking forward to you know getting a chance to read those and see you know what the hype's about and everything so you know everything from tommy's wishlist manga prison school we got aria we got kari kano um so a lot to be excited about yeah for sure i can't wait to make tommy read made in abyss yeah um if it's a quick read it'll be a, a good one but if not <laughs> but all right thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video all right see you next time